Hi everyone, welcome back to Rise of Flight. Here we are with the Yasta 4 following the career of Hermann Friedrich as he goes about his business. We're here September 13th, 1916 with Yasta 4. Weather report, cumulus clouds gathering from the east. Flying conditions are still sufficient for the next sortie. Doesn't sound like they're great then. Uh, wind at ground level, west, southwest, three meters per second. Designated pilots, Martin Meyer is fit and uh, returns to the squadron to lead this flight. Uh, Hans von uh, Schallenbrendroff is going to be wingman number one. Ourselves, Herman, are going to be wingman number two. And wingman number three is going to be David Schneider. Primary objective, rendezvous with two seaters over our airfield and escort them en route. Ensure that they return to base safely. Take off 1030. Dismiss. We've got an escort mission. Wow, that's something different. Protection patrol. Let's get up and help these bombers then. Okay, let's get this engine fired. I'll get the gun cocked as well. Can we see the uh, the bombers in the sky at all? No, it doesn't appear to be. We've obviously got to go and rendezvous with them. Number two is away. Here we go. Stand by. Let's start going. Feed the throttle in. A bit of forward momentum to get the nose up. It's really bumpy, this airfield. Gently pull back. Oop. Bit of a gust, and we're away. Nice. Ah, they're the bombers, are they? They could be observation aircraft, of course. Two seaters, should we do? There's two seaters. There's two of them. So, um, four of us, two of them. Makes makes it a party, I believe. Right, flight leads going after them, it would seem. Which is good. Uh, so we'll form up, get above them, or I uh, assume we're going to be above them, and um, start protecting these guys to the front lines, and uh, see if any... Enemy fighters are scrambled to try and intercept these bombers, strike observation aircraft. And, uh, and we'll do what we can to protect them. I will see you in a little while. Right, we're coming over the front lines now. As you can see, we're in formation. Um, the bombers are, are... Yeah, you can just... Oh, the nose is just covering up. Yeah, they're just in front of our nose. They're lower than us, so we are above them. Uh, we've got a little bit of ACAC up here. No contacts that I can see. And so far, all is quiet on the Western Front. So, um, we're going to continue over the front lines, over no man's land, and uh, obviously escort them to wherever their target is. Oh, it's just an observation blue. Uh, on our side, so that's fine. Right, so we'll press on, and I'll bring you back if the action heats up. Hi everyone, we've just been joined by a couple of Eindeckers, look at this, they're just sort of coming to the formation as well, we're well over, um, there's the uh, front lines over there, we're well into enemy territory now, um, I'm not sure what they are, should we climb up to have a look? The rest of the uh, flight's gone this way. Sure. I 
They're not the um, the Havlins, are they? I'll try and get up there. They are. That'll be quite good. We'll climb up then. Oh wait. What is that? Is that a new port? Okay, they're up high. Do we go after them or do we keep with the bombers? He says, having lost every aircraft other down there. There's the Eindecker down there. There's the bombers there. Okay, we'll circle and we'll continue to climb. Okay, the egg, the bombers are down down there looking to uh, bomb that airbase. The Akak's getting a bit heavy. Oh, have they? Are they the two bombers? Just wondering if they've sent up any fighters. Yep, they've definitely got new ports up. Yep, we've got new ports climbing up, so let's descend upon them. We'll side slip a little bit down there so we don't rip our wings off. Yep, he's going for them. Bombers, right. Oof. The anti aircraft fire is um, quite hot. Good hits there, good hits. There are raking fire there. Definitely smoking a little bit more. He's gone. Right. Pick up scanning for the other aircraft. Let's get some altitude. Get away from the airfield. They've got anti aircraft guns, so we don't want to be low and slow over there. Right, where'd the bombers go? It's debris just float floating down. Might. 
Okay, there they are. I found another one. Circling over the airfield. Somebody's really high. Two aircraft are really high. I'm not sure who they are. But we've got two over here. Oh, and... Somebody else on my tail. Who that? Who was that? I mean, black, I can't see them at all. Ah, oh, there they are. Okay, we're outnumbered now. This is not good. Right. Let's get on his tail if we can. still there. Um, we don't want to be hanging around too much longer after this fight because um, we don't know how how long our engine is going to keep going if it's smoking and we're quite a long way into enemy territory. closer than I want to be and he's bringing me down to the airfield again I do not want to be doing this I'm getting a bit close as well Right, more aircraft up there and flat. Let's 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 turn for base. Let's get out of here. We are we're smoking, um, so we need to get out of here before those aircraft descend on us and before our engine packs up. So it's a run. It's a run for the border. Let's go. Let's go. Hi everyone, um, our engine's just packed up. Uh, that is th that is no man's land in front of us. Um, so, uh, do we have the altitude to glide over there? That's the question. <laughs> That's the question. Uh, we're still over enemy territory. We need to get to uh, the front lines over there to uh, stand the chance of surviving and not being captured. Um, Yes, I would have liked to have uh, made it a little bit further. Can we try and crank the throttle the engine just in case it wants to restart? No? No. Nope. Nothing. So, um, dead stick landing, it would seem. Uh, it's all about how far we can get. Right, now we need to see where is the... There's, there's the... Um, the enemy front lines just ahead of us. You can see where's the closest of our friendly front lines and oh, oh we're stalling a little bit. Yeah speed is dropping. It's that fine line isn't it?
We're so close to the front lines. Look at the, the pox marked ground here though, all the artillery shells that have landed in this area. Incredible. Incredible. Right. I'm hoping to go for that. Oh, I don't think we're gonna make it. Oh look look at all those trees and poles for wire and all sorts of obstacles in the way. Oh, shells are landing down. This is not going to be pretty. I've got a horrible feeling we may um, be wounded or worse. But we're making our front line. Just. Is there a clear area? No, it's all got... I don't know if these are pole, you know, posts for um, barbed wire, that kind of thing, or if they're just shelled up trees, I don't know. Right, it's that little patch there I was going to go for. Oh, it doesn't look pretty either. Right, let's all come over here. Hi, boys. Uh, please come out and rescue me if this goes horribly wrong. It's artillery shells landing over here, but it's oh god, yeah, this is not the best. But it's slightly lower, which gives us a little bit more chance to clear these trees, or whatever they are. Oh. Okay, this is a clear row a bit. It's a bit bumpy though. Can we make it over that trench? No, I don't think we can. We make end up in the trench. Oh. Oh. oh, we're rolling back downhill. Skid in. Oh, I can't do much about this. Hello, boys. <laughs> Put the kettle on. There we go. Right. We're down. Uh, fingers crossed. Um, we can just nip out and in straight into that trench now. Okay, and here we have mission debriefing. V for victory. Primary objective was complete. The bombers were able to do their task. Mission time, one hour, one minute and 58 seconds. Hermann Friedrich in his Haberstadt landed. <laughs> hey, they classed that as a land. No, they didn't. They classed that as a plane crashed. Fair enough. Forced landing, I'd like to say. It's better than some of my landings, full stop. Um, we shot down two aircraft, confirmed. And nothing else. Uh, Martin Meyer was still airborne. Uh, no, no score for him. Same for Hans. Safe, same for David. So that's good. We're down. We're safe. Two kills to our credit. Fantastic. Okay, so here we are. Further mission debriefing. Just a confirmation. Everyone was okay. We got two aircraft kills. They were Francois Xavier Garcia in his Newport 17C1 and David Moreau in a 17. C1 as well. Nice. Nice. Happy days. Having a quick look in the squadron room for Yasta 4 and see her performance. There we are, top of the pops with seven aircraft kills, five balloon kills. Now it's worth saying I had done a mission previous to the one you've watched uh, where we had to destroy two balloons, which we did. Um, I got the credit for it, um, but unfortunately the footage corrupted, so that's why uh, we. Um, have not brought it, or I've not brought it to you, but yeah, it's a boring mission anyway, just two balloon shots down, no aircraft to engage, so it probably wasn't worth watching anyway, to be fair. Um, so seven aircraft, five balloons, eight sorties, eight successful sorties, and six hours, 33 minutes in the air. Fantastico. That takes us 
to 422nd in the Yasta 4 achievement in Korea of other pilots. Um, we've got one Haberstad which requires one day's repair, one Haberstad which requires four days repair, and um, 11 fully serviced and good to go Haberstad D2s. In world news, there we are, 21st. Those two aircraft kills confirm us into the top 30 of the aces in the sky. And we're currently sitting in 21st position. Nice. Nice. Happy with that. And in the personal room, um, there are seven kills. We are 12,785th in the global statistics. And we've got our Iron Cross second class, Iron Cross first class, and our pilot's badge. Fantastic stuff. So Herman lives to fight another day. Just. <laughs> and we'll go again next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Hit that thumbs up if you have. And if you want to see some more, make sure to hit the subscribe and tickle the bell so you don't miss any future video releases. Thanks so much. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.